Hi, welcome. This is Coach Yadi, the creator of the Soul Body Method. And today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite elements, which is soul set. And what is soul set exactly? Because it's not mindset, so it's definitely something different. And what I define as soul set is basically connecting with your spirit. Basically, what makes you tick as a as an individual what is your spiritual dna who are you really deeply inside and it's to connect with that part of you that maybe you've been neglecting for quite a bit of time so what are some of the things that for instance you would love to do but you haven't done because you've been just so focused on getting work done and doing your things and your whole to-do list but have forgotten about that thing or those things that light you up put a smile on your face and make your day go better. Because the benefits of tapping into your soul set, not only is it going to make you feel better and more joyful, but your relationships will totally get better because you're paying attention to yourself. Um, the opportunities that will present themselves, the things that all of a sudden you're gonna start to witness in your life are going to begin to change weight loss, fat loss, and getting into your best shape become easier. Why? Because now you're in a state of non-resistance. Resistance means stress, means not doing what you love, not taking care of that inner self or that inner part of you. So when you're in a state of resistance and stress, it's hard to let go of weight. It's hard to not be sick because you're in a state of dis ease and so not being at ease will cause all sorts of problems and physiologically in your body that will create certain results so how can you shift that and so i had one of my students who was telling me she was doing the nutrition part she was doing the exercise and so when i asked her so you know have you been doing the things that you really love or have you been meditating have you you know been reading the books that you really like have you you know and i started asking her those questions she's like you know what yadi i i haven't um actually done that so you know you're right let me go back and think about all the things that i think i can do you know, maybe this upcoming week. So she wrote down her list. She wrote down meditation. She go, she wrote down uh, going dancing, which is something that she tr she really really loved. And a week later, I spoke to her again. She's like, Yadi, you're not gonna believe this. Well, I meditated every day for at least six minutes, sometimes up to 15, and I also went out dancing twice this week and I lost five pounds, not doing anything different in my nutrition really, or doing or changing up my exercise. And that's just one clear example of how your life can change. But there's so many other things and I can't wait for you to see what happens when you do. As for me, I love dancing and I know that when I don't dance or I don't play, that just, takes me on a downward spiral. Everything starts to become more stressful. I get more knots up here in my shoulders. Um, you know, my reaction to people is that much more heightened. Instead of observing and witnessing, I become reactive in my life and uh, it's very different. So with new challenges actually in my life, it's actually brought about something really positive and something that I had not connected with um, within my spirit. I remember when I was like anywhere between like 10 and 15 years old, I actually wrote, um, you know, poetry and things like that. And I haven't written ever since. And so it's been like almost like 15 years or maybe a little bit more than that, um, that I've not written. And all of a sudden I get this epiphany. Oh, I feel like I'm going to channel these emotions that I'm having and I'm going to put them into writing and I'm going to do some poetry. So I want to go ahead and share with you um, a poem that I recently wrote and hope to inspire you and maybe bring some creativity out. Like, I, I mean, I would love to hear back from you and, and you share whatever you want to about your creativity or your life that would also that we can inspire each other and maybe inspire a lot of other people, but more importantly, inspire yourself, right? Because that's the bottom line. It's not about anybody else. It's truly about you and what makes you happy because this is your life and you are meant to live it, not survive it. So I'm gonna read you something and this poem is called Humility. 
So check this out. Humility. I sit here looking at pictures, thinking, thinking, staring into my morning organic tea, wondering why I do this to me. I can point fingers all day long. You didn't call, you didn't text, you just said next. You did this to me. You're not letting me be. But I know I'd be lying to myself, the only self in existence. God, but I have so much persistence. I persist to be in control of this situation, but that is a violation. I violate the universal rule that everything is perfect as is. All is happening for a reason. It's exactly why I'm in my own head imprisonment for treason. The betrayal of truth within my heart. The I that thinks it's separate and apart. Ah, oh, the craziness in my mind. Blind, blinded with the thoughts I believe. The elaborate stories I create all in my head that take me away, away from the now, not the way, not the towel. Breathe. Um, work out, pal. Give me 20. Get down. I sit in meditation to realign, to remember, to awaken to the sign, to my thoughts. I say goodbye. I just opened up my third eye. My life is what I create. The thoughts I think I don't always have to believe. Opening up space to receive. I release myself from this fear. False evidence appearing real. Poof, smoke, it disappears. Joy, oh, the cleansing tears. I'm responsible for everything I experience. It's not them, it's me. The truth sets me free. I come to meet my thoughts with real understanding. Finally, it's landing. Everything I see is a projection of who I be. Be the change you wish to see in the world, said Gandhi. I wish to be free. I wish to love, I wish to live, I wish to dance, I wish to simply be all of me. Surrender to who I am. That is humility. So there you have it, my friend. I hope that this inspired you and hope that it sparks up creativity in you that maybe you haven't tapped into, whether that's photography, uh, playing outside, dancing, meditating, whatever, go ahead and send me a picture, share what it is that lights you up and puts a smile on your face that maybe you haven't done in a while. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and don't forget to um, put at Coach Yachty on Instagram so that you can tag me and also put a hashtag soul body method and that way we can connect and share and inspire and most importantly, inspire yourself because truly it's your life and you are meant to live not just survive. So stop kind of going in this mundane, this little hamster wheel. Step outside the box, be you, and and live your life the way that you truly want to. And that way, it's so much easier to let go of whatever weight is holding you back. And lastly, feel free to drop by my website, thesoulbodymethod.com, because this is only one of the elements of the four uh, when it comes to weight loss and fat loss. And I don't believe it's just exercise and nutrition and also how you do that matters. So what I teach is a completely different approach. And if you wanna get the download on the Soul Body Method 101, Go to my site right now and you can subscribe to it and you can get the audio, the audio series, which is also free on my site. And uh, I would love for you to get uh, just a breakthrough on what this whole weight loss thing is about. Um, anyway, thank you so much and thank you for being here with me. Much love to you. Have a great day. Mwah. Ciao.